You might be puzzled if someone tells you drought events can help biodiversity conservation. Drought happens when there is no rain over a long period. Drought are becoming more frequent in recent years and killing a lot of trees in the forest, especially in the Mediterranean region. So how on earth drought can help conserve biodiversity? Please allow me a couple of minutes to explain. In this video, I am going to talk about my research that I am currently working on. I am working on drought, dead trees, and dendrohabitus. By now, I hope you understand what is drought. I am sure most of you saw a dead tree, but dendrohabitus, what are these? Imagine some insects are hiding in small holes of a tree, a bird sitting on a dead branches, or a woodpecker is carving holes in a tree. These holes and dead branches are some of the examples of dendrohabitus which is used by some specialist species for survival of their life. In my research, I ask the question, is drought affect the site increasing the dendrohabitat? To answer this question, I went to 20 different pine forests across Catalonia. Each forest consists of two sites, one affected by the drought, while the other one was unaffected. And I found higher number of dendrohabitats in drought affected sites. Then I investigate further to see how drought are affecting different types of dendrohabitat. Interestingly, I found not all dendrohabitat increase in drought affected areas. Only cavity-like structures such as woodpecker cavities, insect galleries, and other holes-like structures were higher in the drought affected sites. So what are the implications of this finding? Scientists predict that drought events will be much more intense and frequent in the near future, which will result in large scale tree death. However, nature is using these dead trees to create cavity-like structures like in drought affected areas. These cavities could provide new home from different small species and help to conserve biodiversity. So when you go for a hike next time and see a dead tree, don't think it is a lifeless object. It can host a lot of dendrohabitat and some of the species can leave those dendrohabitats. In a sense, the dead trees are becoming a living system, just like the small earth. We need to conserve this dendrohabitat first to keep this complex process running. Thanks for watching. Please don't hesitate to reach out if you want to know more about my research.